What is up everyone? Welcome back. My name is John Morton. In today's video we're going to be taking a quick little look at, or revisiting at least, a little shave set that I looked at many moons ago called the Vander ha Vanderhagen. I got it right this time. The Vanderhagen traditional <laughs> shave set sets what they're calling it now. They used to call this their, what was it, their deluxe shave set. They used to separate their soaps by like they had the deluxe and then the luxury, and it's like, uh, <laughs> well, they didn't just have anything regular. It was either deluxe or luxury. So uh, I guess they've changed the they've changed the naming scheme. I guess to uh, create a little more separation between the different tiers of products. So this is their basic product. This is what they're calling their basic product, and it's got a little shave bowl. It's going to have a boar hair brush, and it's going to have just some a little bit of soap in there, and. It, yeah, let's just tear into it. It's a three-piece set. Okay, so here's the box. Let you guys have a look at the box here. Uh, it says on the front of it, traditional shave set. It's two and a half ounces of soap. Uh, it's hypoallergenic soap, ceramic bowl, boar hair shaving brush. Um, tells a little bit about the kit on the back. For any beginner on a budget looking to enter the wet shaving arena. Okay. Um, you know, this isn't a bad set if, you know, my last experience, assuming everything is still okay with it. The only thing is, last time, the brush that came in it was not as good as I would have liked. It, it, li it tended to shed a little bit, but we'll see if they fix that and what's going on with that, because it looks like they've changed their brush. Uh, and then it has instructions on the side on how to use the thing and all that. And I'll, I'll put a close-up of that in there and you can read that. Okay, so let's go ahead and, uh, let's get this open. So. Straight out of the gate, we've got our brush on top. It's in a uh, it's in a plastic bag, and it very much is a different design of brush than what they had last time. It looks like they're using the uh, the resin handle that was part of their badger hair brush. So they've brought that in, and they're using a smaller knot on their boar hair. Can't say I blame them. Uh, I'm sure the larger knot is more expensive, but also the larger knot was actually a little bit obnoxious. It was a little bit too big. Uh, you know, some of these some of these knots though, you get on some brushes, they're real small. Uh, I've bought them before that they're just they're so small you can barely even whip up a lather with them. There's just <laughs> it's just like, it's like you're using one of those little tiny paint brushes. It's got like four hairs on the end. Uh, I like some. I like a pretty large knot. This is about I would call this about medium size knot, and it's a good. It's a, uh, it appears to be a good good little brush. I don't see any shedding or anything like that. No hairs are pulling out or anything. It is a little bit of dust in it, but not much. You gotta clean these things a little bit because uh, sometimes these can have uh, dust and whatever in them for their, an animal product and it's hair. Okay, so let's go ahead, pull the bowl out. That's the next thing down. And it's, there we go, it's coming out. And inside the bowl, within the bowl, is the soap. It's got the uh, Vanderhagen VDH logo stamped on the soap. And here is the bowl. It's a little green on the inside, blue on the outside, ceramic bowl. You guys saw this in the last video. This and this appear to be identical. I looked at the ingredients list on this, and I can't tell. I don't remember if they've changed their ingredients in their soap since the last time I used it. Probably not. It looks the same. We'll see how it does. And we'll see how the soap holds up. Okay, so let's go ahead. First things first, before I go any further into this, this is a new boar hair brush. Boar hair is stiff. It has what a lot of people say, call backbone. It is stiff, okay? It, it's, it's not soft like, uh, like your badger hair brushes. This really has to be soaked before you use it, especially when it's new. Uh, when it's used, you can soak it for like 30 seconds. It'll soften up enough where you can use it. But when it's new, you gotta soak the darn thing. And you'll notice just how, how compact and how tight that knot is. Once this is broken in, after a few shaves, after a few weeks, it'll start to sort of bloom out a little bit and you'll get that nice uh, flared out effect. But for right now, we've got to soak this thing. And after a few uses, the ends will split. It'll actually get split ends. The hairs will split just like your hair does. And uh, not, not to say that your hair splits, and I know that, but uh, uh, like some people's hair splits, uh, what you want is you want that hair to split, and that's going to soften up those tips. It's going to give you real soft tips on the brush. It's going to make it so it lathers really nicely, and it's going to make it soft and easy on your skin. Okay, so now that I've got it wet, there's gonna be, there's a few hairs coming off of it. Now that's pretty normal. With any new brush, there's always gonna be some hairs coming off of it at first. 
as uh, the ones that didn't get bound in with the glue and whatever uh, come out. But after that, they should, it should sort of uh, go away after the first couple shaves. But we'll go ahead, yeah, it's already got one there. We'll just break this thing in and I'll be right back. And that appears to be pretty much all of them. There's no, there's a couple little small hairs that have come out and that's about it. That appears to have pretty much finished that off. So okay, there's no more shedding going on there. Let's go ahead and uh, whip up a lather with this and see how it does. Now the reason I'm reviewing this is not because I like shilling for Vanderhog and it's more because of the availability of this. This is something that's very accessible to people. In fact, that's the very reason that I have this today. I was out, uh, I was doing some work on a weed eater and I had to go out and get a primer bubble and pick up some milk and while I was at the grocery store, I picked up this little shave set because my old brush was worn out. So I got a new brush that came in this shave set and it was eight bucks, I think, uh, or it was nine dollars, it was nine dollars. So uh, for the whole set, for the soap and the brush and the bowl and everything. So it's a, it's a really good deal. So I just decided to go ahead and make a little video about that for you guys and unbox that for you. So let's go ahead and get the soap out here. You can, one, you can lather right in the puck, just like that. You can wet your brush, lather on the puck, that's fine. It's good for travel if you want to keep it in the container. You want to have a little... I have one that I use for travel and uh, I'll just keep it in the container and whenever I want to use it, I'll just take it and I'll lather right on the puck. All right, and I'll load it and then I'll lather on my face and I'll close that back up and it's good for travel. But uh, in this case, we're going to just go ahead and throw it in the bowl. Let's go ahead and do that. See if we can get this thing in there. See if it'll come out. And I remember these things are pretty darn tricky to get out. But there we go. That's the soap out of the container and into the bowl. Now, and away she goes. Let's go ahead, and dip a little bit of water on that soap. And I've had this boar hair brush soaking for oh, probably about five or six minutes. And I've had my face soaking too, so my whiskers should be nice and softened up. Soft enough for a decent shave at least. And we'll go ahead and we'll start whipping this sucker up. Now, one thing you may find difficult <laughs> whenever you're trying to use this kit, is you may find that the soap just spins around with the brush as you try using it. What you can do to get around that is take it, stick it in the microwave for 30 seconds, um, and that will sort of cement the, that will cement the soap into the bowl. It'll melt the soap enough that it sticks to the bottom. Do not go more than 30 seconds because it will bubble over and it will make a huge mess in your microwave and you'll have a bunch of hardened soap in your microwave if you forget about it. So trust me, I'm talking from experience here. Oh man, I love, it's been forever since I've used their soap. Uh, not, not, their, uh, not their soap, period, but this particular form of their soap. And man, I love, I love the smell of this soap. It brings back memories. Okay, um, and this is their, they call it their deluxe shave soap. I don't know if they call it that anymore, but that's what they used to call it. Okay, so let's go ahead and get right into the shave. Yeah, this is a new brush, <laughs> you can tell. It's got a lot of backbone to it. Oh man, but you know what? Damn, I forgot how, I think that, I think this soap lathers better than their luxury soap, the scented soap that they have. I think this actually makes a better lather. Let's go with a little bit more water in there. Yeah, I think this does. I think it's, this soap that actually comes in this basic kit is actually better than their more premier soap. Oh, that's nice. The smaller brush makes it a lot easier to get in around your lips without basically getting a mouthful of soap. Very nice. Let's add a little more water in there. And this is, this is... <laughs> Well, this is a new brush. I can tell it's definitely, it's definitely exfoliating. It's tough, uh, it's a little tougher on the skin, but. Okay. So this isn't a very soft, luxurious lather. That won't come until the brush really softens up and it really starts to, really starts to pick up those air bubbles really well. All right, so let's go ahead and go over it one more time, try to get a little better lather on here. Okay. It's not a super dense lather this time. We'll go ahead and see what we can do with it. It's partially due to the brush being so new and not really where it doesn't have those split ends. There's not as many little bristles to work together and incorporate air into the lather. Uh, it, they tend to get a little bit better with time. But we'll go ahead and get into this. Using an using a Edwin Jagger DE89. 
with an Astra Superior Platinum Blade. Overall, very smooth shave. Okay, so let's go ahead and go in for a second pass. If you want to get a good shave, you usually got to do a couple passes. Let's do a wet or lather this time. And it'll also help to sort of break this, break this brush in a little bit. You want this, in order to get the split ends on this brush, what you want to do is you want to sort of, you want it to dry out, and then you want to wet it again, and then you want it to dry out, and then wet it again, and that'll just, that shrinking and expanding of the hairs will cause the tips to split. And that's what's going to give you, I just gave myself a mouthful of soap, that's what's going to give you that really soft tip to the brush bristles. Okay. Pass number two. Okay, and that is the shave done. All that's left is just to sort of rinse off and finish off the shave. I'll be right back when I'm done. Let's throw on a little Stetson aftershave. Really love this stuff. Really loving the way it feels. It feels on the skin. Moisturizing, just a little bit of burn, a little bit of menthol. It's got a little bit of castor oil in it and just leaves your skin feeling really hydrated and moisturized and soft. So really loving that stuff right now. Okay, um, so what do we do after we're done? Well, with a brush, we obviously we want to clean all the soap out. We don't leave the soap in it. We clean the brush out and rinse it out. And you might run it under the sink. And there's two ways you can clean your brush out or you can dry your brush out. Well, one, you run under the sink and get the water out, and then when it comes time to dry it, after you've got all the soap out, you can squeeze it, like so, or you can take it and flick it. And flicking it will sort of use the momentum, use momentum and pull that water, all that water towards the tips and away from the glue and the knot, and that'll help sort of uh, increase the life of your brush because you've got that glue back there that will degrade with exposure to moisture and the hairs will also degrade with prolonged exposure to moisture. So we go ahead, do that, and what I like to do to go ahead and help it dry a little quicker is I squish that brush down a little bit and layer dry. And okay, we've already got a little bit of flare going on there. So give this a few uses, it'll have those split ends, it'll soften right up just like my old one. I definitely would give this kit a for the price, an A-plus rating. It's uh, it, it's phenomenal for the price. For $8, you're getting a bowl, you're getting soap, and you're getting a shave brush. That really is spectacular. And that's not me shilling for this stuff. I don't have anything to do with Vanderhoek. And it's just, it's a really good deal. It's widely available. You know, there's lots of boutique products out there that cost a lot more that will perform moderately better. But you know what? This is, this is a good way into wet shaving, I will say. Now, some of you guys that are new to this may be wondering, well, where am I going to put all of this stuff? I'm coming from using a disposable or a cartridge head razor and a can of shaving cream. Well, all this will fit in about the same area as that. So what you can do is you take your bowl, it's got your shave soap in it. After you've tapped your little brush dry, you just take it and set it right on top and your razor will sit right in there as well. And it's a very cute little compact uh, little container for everything. So. Anyway, guys, I don't know if they designed it like that, but it works really well for that. And uh, it's served me like that for many years. So anyway, guys, that's it for the video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, I'd really appreciate it if you leave it a like down below. And if you'd like to see more videos like this from me, or if you just happen to be interested in banjo as well, you can subscribe and see more from me that way. Anyway, guys, see you in the next one. Later.